Ancient Magic is a mod for Crusader Kings 3 that adds a magic system to the game. There's many different schools of magic, but this video will just be focusing on necromancy, because that's what I do, but also a little bit of elomancy because it provides you with summonable minions as well. Mana is added as a resource for you to spend on spells. It accumulates at a different rate depending on which focus you've chosen. It has three modes, high experience income, low mana income, balanced XP and mana income, or very little XP but maximum mana income. According to my tests, these various modes may be a little buggy and not working properly, so I, I mostly stuck to the balanced option. The Necromancy line of magic has some interesting spells. One of the spells allows you to make a character fall ill. This is a cheap spell, and is a good option for weakening enemies before duels or just to mess with people. Far more useful is the ability to inflict bubonic plague, which is often lethal and contagious. It's almost guaranteed that if your intended target doesn't die, many others in their court will. You can also leech a target's life force, which heavily debuffs them and buffs you for some years. The most powerful and expensive spell in the necromancy tree allows you to outright kill someone. Needless to say, this spell is incredibly useful. It's also possible to enable a spell that gives you natural dread. In fact, simply learning necromancy increases your dread significantly. You're also able to turn a character into a greater undead creature. This does not work on yourself and is intended to be used on others. Undead creatures have curious properties that aren't necessarily good or bad. For example, undead are despised by the living, but have a high opinion of each other. For the hell of it, I made some of my council members into greater undead. I also inflicted it upon a few enemies. One fellow was most dismayed at his bride becoming a hideous greater undead. I'm honestly not sure what to make of the function of the spell. Whether it's something you're meant to use offensively on enemies, or something you're meant to buff your own people with. Finally, you're able to summon hordes of zombies. The amount of zombies starts out pretty small, something like 100 zombies, and has a long cooldown. Towards the end of my testing, it was summoning about a thousand zombies at a time. The zombies are quite weak, perhaps comparable to or slightly better than your standard levies. The cooldown for the spell is quite long, but it's also very cheap. So just keep an eye on it and when it's cooled down, cast it again. It never hurts to have a few thousand zombies lying around. The zombies never heal, so you'll end up with lots of groups of zombies with only a few members. Elomancy is where the strong minions are at. With Elomancy you're able to make golems. The first of these are the stone golems. The cooldown for making stone golems is quite long, like at least a year, but it produces very high quality troops. Your stone golems will destroy your enemies with ease and make sieges go by very quickly. Even better though, and with an even higher mana cost and longer cooldown, are the lava golems. These lava golems come in at only 5 per summon, but they're so ridiculously strong that 5 is plenty. Their stats are insane, above 200, and having some of these in your army is often guarantees a victory. Especially if your army already has stone golems and other high quality mana arms units in it. Illumancy has some other spells in it, like cloak fire and whatnot. Things that would be of interest to some normie mage, but not really to me. Overall, the Ancient Magic mod is a good one, and has satisfying minion mechanics. I'm scoring an 8.5 out of 10 for its minion gameplay. There's no limit to how many minions you can have, except for mana and time. They are useful and permanent, but not very diverse. As a necromancer, you can only have two types of undead, zombies and greater undead. And as an elomancer, you've only got some stone golems and lava golems. As it is, the magic is a very nice supplement to the existing game, but you'll not feel like a necromancer nation or something, as the magic is a small part and your armies will still be primarily human. Thanks for watching. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.